It's Wednesday and you're watching First Shift. I'm Angelina Zarnecki. Coming up, why AutoNation is looking at restarting a finance company. But first, your morning headlines. Hyundai and Genesis are warning U.S. dealers against aggressive pricing strategies. That includes markups that push transaction prices, quote, way above MSRP. In letters sent to retailers and obtained by Automotive News, the automakers also warn of potential actions they can take against offending dealers, among them reductions in future allocations, advertising benefits, and other incentives. However, both acknowledge that retailers can set their own prices. Hyundai and Genesis dealers are certainly not alone in adding market adjustments to vehicle prices. According to an Edmonds report last week, buyers paid above MSRP on a record 82% of all new vehicles in January, compared to just 3% a year earlier. Elsewhere, there are dozens of Lamborghini vehicles on the cargo ship that caught fire in the Atlantic Ocean. Lamborghini's U.S. boss, Andrea Baldi, telling our Larry Velaquet that the vehicles are primarily Urus SUVs, as well as some Uricons and Aventadors. All of the vehicles have been pre-sold to customers who have already waited up to a year for delivery. The condition of the vehicles on board the cargo ship are still unknown, and the first salvage crews are expected to board the boat as early as today. Turning to earnings, Stellantis says the margin on its adjusted operating profit rose to 11.8% last year. That's above its target of about 10%. Margins in the North America region climbed to 16.3%. Stellantis says the numbers are a result of strong execution on synergies, which generated about $3.6 billion in net cash benefits. And a new lawsuit says Tesla covered up employee safety violations and ignored racial harassment. Former Tesla construction manager Mark Cage filed the suit in Alameda County Superior Court in California. He claims to have reported safety violations that risked massive explosions at Tesla's battery factory in Nevada and systematic failures by the company to disclose serious on-the-job injuries. Cage who is black, also alleges that Tesla employees with full knowledge of the company's management harassed him on the basis of his race. For our Retail Realm report, we turn to AutoNation. In an earnings call last week, CEO Mike Manley said the retailer is, quote, aggressively looking into restarting a finance company. Manley saying it made sense to explore the option given AutoNation's volume and plans to expand its U.S. platform of used vehicle-only stores to more than 130 by the end of 2026. Manley saying, quote, It's something that I think really could add value in multiple ways, not just from a profit contribution perspective. Financing companies are typically profit centers for automakers, though Fiat Chrysler, which Manley formerly led as CEO, didn't have one. Penske Automotive Group, Asbury Automotive Group, and Lithia all discussed the idea of a captive during earnings calls this month. Michael Buckingham, Managing Director of J.D. Power's Pin Auto Finance, told Automotive News it would make more sense for a large national group to buy an existing lender and turn it into a captive than to start from scratch. The idea isn't new for AutoNation. It once had a finance unit, but former CEO Mike Jackson ended the money losing business in 2001. Thanks for watching. Auto News Now comes your way this afternoon. We'll see you tomorrow.